Hello, this is Chris the Pocket Master and I'm here to show y'all how to take the background off of a picture using Photoshop CS2. Now the reason I'm using Photoshop CS2 is because um, it's an, I know I just know a lot of tricks with this program so that's why I'm really using this. Let's just jump into it. Let's say I have a picture of a Neo Geo Pocket. That's what this device is called and I want to bring it over to this background. All right, I want to bring it over to this background right here. And I'm just going to select my move tool that's located right here. That's the arrow. And I'm just going to simply click and drag it to this project file. And notice how it's a lot bigger. So if you encounter a problem like this, what I would do is go to edit, free transform, zoom out and just resize it all right so there you go you have your Neo Geo pocket image right there but all right so in, in order to get out of free transformation mode just click on the arrow again it's going to ask you apply the transformation you're going to click apply and you should have your image free to move around and edit so I'm going to look at this image right here and I have white space in its background I, I want to get rid of that because you know that doesn't look good let's say I have a YouTube thumbnail this is the size of a YouTube thumbnail and I just have this like going like this this picture that's not appealing to anything really so I'm gonna take out the white background and to do that I'm gonna show you all a few tricks first the first trick I'm gonna show you is using the magic wand tool so I'm simply just gonna click the white space and it's you see it's it has clicked all of the white space and I'm just going to simply cut it. And I could cut it using Control X to cut it. Yeah. I, I just like using Control X because short, short key commands are like the best. So Control X. Or I can do it like this. Edit and go to cut. Alright. And I have my new Geo Pocket free. And as you all can see in the background, my logo is just in the background and I can do all sorts of things in the background while my Neo Geo Pocket device is up. I could color pink if I wanted to. So there you go. I have the pink color in the back. I could even write pink. And I could even color the Neo Geo Pocket pink but that's another tutorial in itself. Alright so that's cool. I'm going to delete the pink stuff. Alright. That's one trick to take away the background off of a picture. I'm going to show you all another, another thing that the magic wand tool can do. Alright, so let's say I have a picture like this. And like I, do, like I did before in the other image. I'm going to get the arrow, the black arrow, the move tool, and just move this picture right here. And notice that it's like huge. Again, when you encounter this problem, you're going to have to go to the edit tool, go to free transform, and if it's all zoomed in and you can't see anything, just have your navigator open and zoom out and then resize it like this. Now the cool thing about the magic wand tool is you can do a lot of things that will make your life easier when creating thumbnails. So I'm going to use my magic wand tool. Well first I'm going to apply the free transformation. You can click on any of the tools and it will bring up this menu. You just click apply. And I'm just going to click the space. Press Control X for cut. See how it's eliminating all of the space? Now I just want this cartridge. So I'm going to eliminate that plastic. And look at that. 
pretty much all gone. There's little specks there. And that's where you could use your erase tool to just clean it up a little bit. And the erase tool is pretty cool. Um, my diameter is a little weird, but you could adjust that. Yeah, oh, I don't like how that is. Oh, wow. So yeah, you can just clean it up a little bit and have your cartridge right there. All right, there you go. All right, so let's say I'm gonna be working with this image. Um, so I'm going to, again, use my move tool, which is the big black arrow. And just simply cl click and drag on your main project file. And so I'm gonna maximize the screen here. And if Photoshop's acting kind of weird to you, just click on the blue bar and it will work again, like normal. So first, what I notice is that this image is very small. So I'm gonna go to the edit tab and free transform this and make it bigger. Now I know that's a low quality image, it doesn't look good, but um, I'm just going to show you all how to eliminate the background on this video, or video, this picture. So um, yeah, I think it would be cool if I got all the characters out and just had like a background going back here. Uh, but let's just say I want one, one of these characters. I don't want all of them, I just want one. And before, or let me just tell y'all, I'm going to get this green character right here. His name's Blanca. I'm going to take him out of this picture and put him with my main project. I can't use the magic wand tool because the magic wand tool is really selecting like a familiar color palette. Uh, I don't recommend using it. I mean, you can, I guess, but it'll take forever to um, eliminate all the background of this picture, especially if you just want this little character right here. You could erase it again, it'll take a while. So the tool I'm going to use is the lasso tool. It's one of the first items in your toolbar. So it's the um, second one down. I'm going to make another layer. The new layers um, option is right here by the garbage can. You just click on it. And I'm gonna call this layer Blanca. And the layer with my picture, this layer right here, I'm gonna title this characters. Um, Y'all don't have to name the layers, um, but it, it's helpful if you do, especially if you're new to Photoshop. And it's just easier, so you can know what's what. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the lasso tool, I'm going to select it, and I'm just going to simply draw around my character, which is this green guy right here, Blanca. So I'm going all around him, and I'm using my mouse, I'm not using my tablet, I just want to see how it feels to draw with a mouse, and it's hard. And once you have drawn around him, just release the click and you got Blanca. Now before you do anything with them, you're gonna click the move tool, which is the big black arrow, one of the first tools in your toolbar, and you're just gonna cut them. Cut them away from the image. And you can move them all around. Uh, what I would do is put them in another layer. So you're in the characters layer right now. So you're going to cut them, push control X for cut, or you can go over here to the edit tab, find the cut option, select the other layer called Blanca, and paste, control V to paste, or you could select the edit tab and go to paste. So you have Blanca out of that layer. He's, he has his own layer and that's him. 
Now he's a little bit messy and what y'all could do is use the erase tool and just get rid of the um, remaining background around him. You can do that or you can select the, mag the magic wand tool and get rid of the stuff around him. Let's say I have this picture. Um, let's use the magnetic lasso tool. This is my least favorite tool to use just because it takes a long time for the tool to connect to the lines you're trying to focus on, but it's a useful tool nonetheless. First of all, it's located by the move tool and the rectangular marquee tool. It's under the rectangular marquee tool or your marquee tools in general. So you're going to click on it. You might be selected on one of these lasso tools and just cl click on the magnetic lasso tool. And you're just going to start at any point and it should latch on to the edges of the image you're trying to take out. Now I'm trying to take out Chun Li, which is the girl to the right. And it's just connecting to all the edges. Now you have to be very close to the edges of your image or else it'll go to other places. All right, so now you see that I have all of the, all of the character I have her selected. So what I'm going to do I want, I want to move this character to this image right here and I'm going to select the move tool which is the big black arrow and you see how it's showing little scissors because it's going to cut this character out of this image. Now I could put her right here for now and see how she's cut but I want to put her in this image. You just simply drag and drop that easy or what you can do is go to the edit tab and hit the cut option and then go right here click on your pro main project file click on the edit tab then push paste now notice how she's pretty big she's huge and she still has some stuff um, in her image. Uh, what I could do, I could erase this with the erase tool or I could use the magic wand tool to take out the remaining mess in her drawing just to kind of clean it up. And what I'm doing, I'm selecting it and I'm pushing Control X to get rid of the mess in the picture. So yeah the Magnetic lasso tool is my least favorite, uh, if I haven't mentioned that before. My favorite tool to use in taking out pictures from the background or eliminating the background in general is the magic wand tool. You get a lot done with it and it's just so fast. So yeah, she's pretty big. I'm going to hit the edit tab, go to free transform, and I'm going to resize her. All right, pretty cool. I got her out of the image. Um, um, it could be a pretty cool thumbnail if I claim Blanca. And remember to always apply your free transformation by hitting one of these tools. Click apply. I can move Blanca over here. Let's try to make this thumbnail look cool. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. I hope it was helpful to you all. And yeah, I hope y'all find a tool that best suits you, like me. The best tool for me to use is the magic wand tool. A mixture of the magic wand and just erasing or the lasso tool, really. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was beneficial to all of you, or some of you. If y'all have any other 
suggestions on what y'all want to know how to do, just shoot me a comment because I know a lot of stuff on Photoshop CS2 and you know, right now I have some ideas but I want to know what you all think. I will see you all in the next video tutorial or whatever video I do. Until next time.